Yo guys, it's Talk by X here, and today, let me just, uh, what I have for you is, um, is, well, a wall. Now, I want to get over this wall, but I can't, because I have nothing in my inventory, as I have just accidentally pressed the X button, and then I meant to press it, I just meant to get an item, unfortunately, but we can't get through, except for this magical button. Uh, so if you press the button. Slowly, hey, the wall falls down, and we go into, and we can go past, get whatever you want, go over to the other side, look it, closes, and we can flick it again, and it'll sure work. So, yeah. So, um, anyway folks, that's, uh, that's all of my really bad acting skills. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is the smallest two-eye hipster from the ground. I forgot the entrance. Uh, by me, Jbunamin Zuzu. This is 3x9x6, which equals a whopping really small 162 block volume. Now, for what this does, this is super compact and tiny. Because it's only 162 block volume. Oh yeah. Um... I think the original record was like 181. I forgot. I think the original record was like Piggly Pops, and this was, I think it was like 200 or 181, something like that. And um, I st I decided to step it down to uh, 162. And this is also including floor, so without floor, it's 132 blocks, which is really small for what it does. I also built this by myself. The only problem with this door is that it does not work in bucket. Um. But let's look at the wiring. So, this is entire wiring. It is really compact, as I said. And, um, yeah. This does not work on bucket, by the way, because, um, bucket for some reason didn't. I think it's like. I think bucket. Th I'm not sure if it works on bucket or not, because it's just really weird and other stuff like that. It's just, like, really in general bad. Um. And stuff. So, hmm. I think I got everything I need. Let me just get my lever. Now I think we're gonna start with the red circuit. So, I don't know. I didn't make my platform yet. So, oh yeah, we can also see this work. Behind. Closes and it is actually really slow. There's a lot of delay because without the delay, this would not work. Um, and without the, without that delay, this door will become a lot larger. So, I'm just gonna make my platform. It's gonna be a three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a three by nine platform. Um, so hopefully that isn't a lot of space to get up, dig up. And you'll be digging down four blocks, well, five blocks. So one, two, three. This will be your floor level. Um, anyway. On the door, on the side you're going to be building it, uh, you want to count a 1, 2, 3, 4, from 1, 2, 3, 4 from either side. Um, wait, no, this is 8. This is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4 from the other side, and put a sticky piston right in between those four blocks. Uh, you want three sticky pistons like so. It's going to be your floor level, as I said before. Um, this is gonna, and then it's going to be your storage block. And, um, that's your entire piston that I've done, so you can copy what I just, whoops, you can copy what I just did. Okay, after you've got your screenshot taken and other various stuff like that, I am going to start with the input circuits. Input circuits. So, we'll get your cyan wool out, put two blocks like so, torches, put, put a put a block right here. This block must be solid, can be glass or something like that, or else this door will fail. Put a torch right here, a, a repeater right here, and then a repeater and a torch right here. So put a sticky piston right here, and get a block out. Then, right here, put a repeater right here. You don't need a block right here yet. Um. And then put a repeater right Repeater redstone. Let me just replace this too. 
Peter Redstone. Okay. So I'm gonna set it today. So that's all your inputs and your uh pistons done for one mind version anyway. Uh but anyway folks um let's see I need to So we're gonna get your input circuit which is which is basically your red roll. So right about here, um past the sticky pistons in the block of the storage pistons, build up like so torch then we're gonna use a pretty cool trick so um there's a glitch in the game where if you do something like this then you can mix it so that this um there's a computer it turns on it turns on immediately but then it takes a little bit of time to turn off which is really useful for the storage pistons so so this is your input i guess put a redstone down here yeah so the next area we're going to get into is the closing and opening for the storage piston. That times it. Basically put a block right here. Going into redstone. Going into redstone. Going into a block. There we Peter. Something I forgot to mention about this is the half slab out. Can. Said this block has to be half slab. That only this one, if you expand it, then it doesn't have to be. Oh, whoops. Put it right here. This repeater, by the way, has to set to two ticks, and that's really important. So, you want to get one, uh, five, want to get five items of your choice. It doesn't matter, they just can't stack. And put that into the hopper that's being powered, or the tower, uh, or this torch right here. Yeah, that's your entire storage piston done. So, as you can see, it turns on, it doesn't turn on immediately, but it but when it closes, go wait, and it tur turns off a lot slower. Okay, but anyway, right here, never repeat us at the three ticks. Um, what's that? Uh, what do I so good to use? Okay, so you want to get your dark green wool out, and put a three tick repeater right here, two redstone. This will go into a repeater, goes into a block, it goes into a redstone and a repeater. And then, right here, put a four tick repeater, a one tick repeater, like so. Now, this is very important that you do not change this into a block, because this circuit will be reused later, and this has to be sent to all the pulses needed. So, put a redstone right there, a block right here, get a slab out. Well, no. sorry about that. Now slab, Sh shift click on the repeater, put a red zone, and a repeater set to three ticks. So that view should be your entire closing and your first block retraction, uh, and part of your first block retraction done. So just close, and and part of the opening. So. To get the final block retraction done, you have to have a mono stable, which is what I'm going to be doing right now. Basically, you want to get a dropper and hopper to make sure the hopper is not facing is facing down into here. And to these two uh, regular hoppers, also these two regular hoppers have to be. Uh, uh, I mean, these two hoppers have to be facing into each other. If they don't, then this should not have worked for you. Anyway, get a single item and put it into this dropper. Now you want to get a block there, a half slab out, and a block right here. Put a three tick repeater right there, and a comparator right there. Now, that should be your entire first block of production done, so we test it. It's closed. And it should also open like that. Now we will be going into the next part, which is the uh, second block retraction. So, right about here, put a redstone torch, redstone sticky piston, and um, for all mon mono stable blocks, you're gonna be using pink ball. So get your pink ball out, like so. So that should send the mono stable to those. Siggy Bissons, and uh, yeah. Okay, so 
This is, uh, you can also put a regular piston with, uh, sand on it. Put it another ski piston right here with a block on top or a regular piston with sand. Put a pitter right here, block three ticks right here. So, this is why this is so slow. Um, this takes time to turn on. Um, because it takes time, it is really slow. Now, basically, what we have right here, close this. Um, what's that? I do something wrong? Or, yeah, I don't think I did something wrong. I have a feeling I'm missing something extremely important right here. Oh! Okay, that was kind of strange. I have no idea where that dropper went. Put a single item in there. Okay. So, that's probably why it wasn't working. Uh, so let's just replace these two pistons. The lever. Let's look it. So um yeah, whoops. So th so that's a pretty big part done because we just really used um this entire almost this entire circuit here. Now to make this entire thing work again, all we have to do is, is get the sleeve out. Flick. Um, we have to refire this so that we flick it, and that's how it works. Now to get this part done, this is was really hard to do. Uh, but I do that in this one white space. It was really hard to get to because I need a lot of delay, and this is also why it doesn't work on bucket. So, um, for for the second block retraction, hmm, that's strange. Yeah, for the second block retraction, uh, I guess I did. Then goof this a little, but I guess I'm gonna use light green wool. So, like, not the second second block attraction I meant. Um, to ref we have to refire something. So this is the circuit that refires it. Unfortunately, it is not very useful. Like, it requires a lot of repeat repeaters. So, oh yeah, this also has to be set to vortex, 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 vortex into redstone. Oops. Yeah, you want to keep that block there. To a repeater, set to vortex, and going into redstone. Um, get a slab out. A slab here, torch right here, and a three to repeater right here. Now that should be your entire door done. So let's test it. Closes and. Hmm, I wonder what I did this time. What did I do this time? I done the roof. We have to set this to four ticks. Hmm. Um, let me look back at this design. What are you doing? What did I do wrong? I don't think I failed at this. Hmm. Okay, that was really strange. So this also this design is also not reliable. Let me say today again. So we in this design is completely failing on me. No clue why either. It's probably because I'm recording this. What the? 
I seriously have no idea. Okay, so maybe if we just sit still, watch it. So yeah, you can't really be really moving around and stuff, cause that will just cause it to fail completely. So um, yeah, this isn't exactly the most reliable design that you will ever see in your life. Because if you like, if you have a lot of entities in the world, this will fail or something like that. So all you have to really do is cover this all up, this, and you are done. Now to expand this. I kind of cheated on that. Um, so to expand this, it's almost the exact same thing, but I kind of cheated on this. I had to cheat on it to make it work, unfortunately. Well, whoops, I found it cost a pretty big clock. I did that, and it didn't stop it. So, we'll just go with this all in. Let's down repeater. But down here, this is where it all changes. Block repeater sticky piston block on top. And then I have to do let's done with zone. Let's done repeater. Did I do that wrong? Oh no I didn't. Um, yeah, then I can also, I guess I can just also fill this in. Whoops. Also guys, I think, also guys, I just reached 30 subscribers. So you can consider this my 30 subscriber special. Um, thank you for subscribing guys, it truly meant a lot to me. To reach this far and be a redstone are truly hard. Because the red zoners aren't that popular in the Minecraft community, some of you may know. Um, but anyway, let's try to activate this thing. Let's con consider this my 30 subscriber special. Close this and. So, yeah. Um, thank you for subscribing, folks. Um, it's really meant a lot to me to let me create these big curations like this. Well, hey folks, that's all. This has been the Knockback X. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, well, wait, I completely messed that up. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you really liked it, then please subscribe. But anyway, folks, that's all. This has been the Knockback X, and um, I am.